to day five of virtual vacation Bible school. Can you believe it is the last day of virtual VBS? But make sure you're paying attention, you're here. If you have friends that aren't watching, share this post with them right now. They don't wanna miss the last day. And don't forget, you could win your very own Nintendo Switch. So check the description of how you can be entered to win one for yourself. How many of you guys like Nintendo Switches? Let me see your hands. Oh, I'm watching through a camera, so I can't see your hands, but I'm sure Every one of you have your hand up. In fact, my hand's up and my cameraman's hand's up. We all want to win a Nintendo Switch, don't we? So check the description to see how you could win one for yourself. And if you want an extra entry, go ahead and put your name and where you're watching from below in the comments and we'll get you in there for an extra entry into winning your very own Nintendo Switch. Well, now we're gonna sing some songs together. So what I need all of you to do, I know you're in your living room, but stand up straight, come on. Stand up off your couch, hands up, and ready to sing really, really loudly, so loud that your neighbors wonder what in the world type of nonsense is going on at the house. So everybody stand up straight and sing out loud with us. today that tells us we need to be willing to tell those around us about Jesus. We're learning Mark 16, 15. So everybody be ready to hide God's word in your heart as we learn with our fun friends, Mark 16, 15. Hi everybody, we're back today. Today we're going to be learning Mark 16, 15. It says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So that means we're supposed to tell everybody about how amazing our God is and what he's done in our lives and how he can save even me and he can save Landon. He can save us all. All right, so today we're going to start off. Can you just repeat after me again, Landon? Sure. Can you all repeat after me too? All right, so it's Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world. Go ye into all the world. And preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. To every creature. To every creature. Okay, good job. You still gotta work on smiling, Landon. I didn't think we were gonna come back today, but we're gonna start off and we're gonna, we're gonna throw some attitude into this. You ever have like a little bit of attitude when you're talking to people? I don't know. Okay, so you guys, I need you guys to throw some attitude on it. So we're gonna say it, Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15? Go ye. Go ye. Into all the world. Into all the world. And preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. To every creature. To every creature. Uh, that was pretty good. You said you didn't have an attitude. That was, a, that was a lot of attitude. You definitely had to practice at home. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to do our evil. Oh, you're good at that Whoa. one. Pretty good at that one. Yeah, okay. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. Go ye to all the world. <laughs> preach the gospel. And preach the gospel to every creature. To every creature. Good job. You're starting to scare me a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll move on to the next one after I'm a little scared. Whew. Okay. We're going to do preacher. As our last one, I need you guys to give me your best preaching. You've heard a lot of preachers this week. So we're going to get our hey man on. We're going to try to bring it out. Okay. Hey man. Mark 16, 15! Mark 16, 15! Go ye! Go ye! Into all the world! Into all the world! And preach the gospel! And preach this gospel! To every creature! To every creature! Amen! Amen! 
Okay, thank you all for tuning in. We're glad to have you guys here this week. Keep memorizing the verses. See y'all later. Great job, guys. I hope you guys were able to learn that verse and have some fun while we were at it. Now, the next song we're going to sing is called Fishers of Men. God wants us to be fishers of men. Now, does that mean we need to get our fishing poles out and go out in the middle of the street and try to catch people? Of course not. This is talking about telling other people about Jesus and trying to bring them to church, trying to bring them to him. We need to be willing to do that for Christ. So as we sing Fishers of Men, think about how God wants you to be a fisher of man. Wow, great job singing, guys. You guys did phenomenal once again. And now it's time we're going to get into our Bible lesson. So again, I need you guys to fold your hands, sit up straight, make sure you're paying attention as Pastor Scott brings a Bible lesson to us. Now, this is the most important part of the day. So make sure you're not messing around, playing with your siblings or doing something on your phone or tablet. Make sure you're paying attention as Pastor Scott brings God's word to us today. I am so glad that you're coming to VBS, and if you're watching tonight, you probably have been to VBS all week. You probably have been learning all week. You've seen Pastor Ryan give crazy illustrations with bleach. You've seen uh, Brother Austin do cartoons and talk about your giving, and you have been learning about God all week. Today, we're going to try to tie it all together for you on how am I supposed to be a Christian? How am I supposed to fulfill what God wants me to do? Many of you this week, you saw that you were a sinner. You saw that you needed Jesus Christ. 
You saw that, hey, I need to get saved. And you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Savior. And that's the best thing in the entire world that you can do. We are so excited about that. And if you haven't shared with us and uh, contacted us and told us that you got saved this week, I hope that you'll do that. But then the question is, Pastor Scott, what do I do after I get saved? Is that all there is to Christianity? I get saved and I go back to the way I was? Or is there more? Well, I'm glad that you asked. The Bible says in uh, Matthew chapter uh, 28, verses 19 and 20, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Do you realize that this is the last thing that Jesus said to us before he left? Before Christ left, he gave a challenge. Today is the last day of VBS. And this is our last challenge. You won't get to hear from us with VBS until next year's VBS. But what we say to you is, there's a few things that you need to do as you walk forward. And as Christ was leaving this earth and he was ascending back up into heaven, he had a message for us. He said for us to go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded. Today, we're going to pray and we're going to break that down exactly what that means. Lord, thank you so much for loving us. Lord, thank you for all these kids who faithfully have attended the online version of EBS all week. Lord, I pray that if they haven't trusted you as their Savior, that they would. And that those who have trusted would follow in obedience to be baptized, to grow in you, and then to go and win others. Guide and direct us now in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I have a little bit of quiz for you, and to help you with this quiz, I have Austin. Austin, if you come up here, and uh, Austin's going to help us with this quiz, and I want you to think about and answer these as I ask the question. But first question is, what is the most important thing you can do in your life? What is the most important thing to do in life? So, Austin, what is the most important thing? That's a tough one. I would say probably go to McDonald's and get a 20-piece Chicken McNugget. You know what? A 20-piece Chicken McNugget. Oh, important question. Barbecue sauce or hot mustard sauce? Uh, barbecue. Oh, definitely. I agree with <laughs> hot you. Mustard? No way. But going and getting 20-piece Chicken McNuggets? Pretty important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But you know what, Austin? That's not the most important thing. It isn't? No, you, you failed. Uh, what, what do you think? Give, give me another try. Um, <gasps> get married. Yes, we have. By the way, uh, Austin needs to get married. Send all applications into First Baptist Church. Oh, no, that's not the most important thing, Austin. <sighs> all right. Got any other ideas? Um, not really. When, do you remember when you were about five years old and we were riding on the water ride at Michigan Adventureland? Riding water rides! No, that was not the most important thing. Do you remember what you did? Um, oh! I got saved! Amen. And you know what, Austin? That is the most important day of your life. And let me tell you, when you realized you were a sinner, realized that you needed Jesus Christ, and you took and you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior because Jesus died for you. You know what? You became a child of God. And you have eternal life. You're going to heaven. And I remember the day that Austin trusted in Jesus Christ. And he asked Jesus to come into his heart and take him to heaven when, his die, when, he, was, when he dies. And you know what? Jesus died for him. And that was the most important day of his life was when he accepted Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. And that's your most important day. So, Austin, what is the second most important thing that you can do? Take a trip to Australia. Australia? Why do you want to go to Australia? Because they have kangaroos. 
Oh my. Well, I tell you, boys and girls, going to Australia would be pretty cool. You have problems. Yes, I do. All right. Would be pretty cool, but you know what? That's not the second most important thing in life to do. Can you try another time? Get baptized? Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, Austin got it on the second try. That's the oh first time goodness. ever. I'm so proud. I'm That's a proud the first father. Time. Yeah, I know. That is amazing. You know what? He's right because as we see here, the Bible tells us that we need to go out and uh, win people to Christ. People need to get saved, and the second thing is they need to get baptized. You know, the fact is, it is very important for us to follow the Lord in baptism. You say, why should I get baptized? Do you know why you're supposed to get baptized? Uh, to go under the water? To go, you, you like to swim. You like to swim. I love to swim. It has nothing to do with swimming. has nothing to go with water. Baptism shows the death, the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's really cool. Isn't it? And so Jesus Christ... Uh, died for you, he was buried, and he rose again, and he, the only thing that he asked us to do was to get baptized to show our salvation, to show his death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. See, this wedding ring right here takes, and it shows that I'm married. Now, if I took it off, am I still married? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still married, but I love your mother, and I wear this ring to show everybody that I'm married because that's my example to show that I'm married. Doesn't make me married. Baptism doesn't make you saved, but it shows everyone that you've trusted in Jesus Christ. And it is the second most important thing you can do. I can remember when I got baptized and I was so excited to tell everybody, hey, I got saved. And that is the way that God has asked us to show people we got saved. Even Jesus Christ, when he was on the earth, had John the Baptist baptize him to show the, what we're supposed to do to picture our salvation. So you're, you did really good this last time. We're going for number three. What is the third most important thing? I got this one. You know a and A&W, yeah. yeah a and is best root beer, right? Best root beer. Okay, so fill a pool full of a and W. <laughs> And then float on a giant hot dog in the pool of a and root beer. Oh, you know what? You have problems. It sounds amazing to me. <laughs> Boys and girls, do you think that that's the most important thing? Sad day. Sad day. That's not the third most important thing. See, the Bible teaches us that there's more than floating in a pool of root beer. On a hot dog. On a hot dog. Chili dog. Chili dog, ooh. Wow. There's, there's even more than that? Yes, there Sounds is. Sounds amazing. Yes. We are supposed to grow in the Lord next. See, it says that? here that we're supposed to teach all nations. And we, they, we get baptized, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded. What do you think all things are? Uh, it'd be me. No, all things are the Bible. Oh, all things? Yes, we get into the oh. Word of God, all the things that God's commanded. Do you know the Ten Commandments? Um, yeah. yeah. I, I, not supposed to take the name of the Lord in vain. You're very good. I'm not supposed to steal. Not supposed to steal. My mom always said I was not supposed to lie, and she said that was in the Bible. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, not supposed to covet. Right. And so we're supposed to grow in the Lord. Did you know just because you get saved and you're going to heaven doesn't mean that you're supposed to live the way you want to? Did you know the next thing you're supposed to do is to grow in the Lord and learn about Him? You know, the way we do that is through the Word of God. You should read your Bible every day. You should pray every day. You should seek the Lord every day. You should ask the Lord, what do I need to do to grow in you? And if you do, you will see amazing things in your life because every day you can grow a little bit closer to God. You know what we call this? We call this a personal relationship with God. Did you know there doesn't have to be a big distance between you and God because you can pray to God and it'd be like he's right next to you. Just like we're this close. You and God can have a relationship and you can talk to him. You can walk with him. 
Austin right here is getting married next summer, believe it or not. Woo! <laughs> Do you know her name yet? Uh, Have you found one? Rafiki. Rafiki? All right. So uh, I'm sure she'll be glad to know you called her Rafiki. But anyways, Austin is getting married next summer. Now, you like to communicate. Her name is actually Roddy. You like communicating with Roddy, don't you? Oh boy, I do. Yeah. Do you ever write her a note? Yeah. Do you write write her poems and different things? Does yes. she ever write you something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever like reading what she wrote you? Oh boy. Do you read it more than once? Once? I read it like 200 times. Did you know that God wrote his word so that you can get closer to him? Just as mm. Roddy reads his notes and he has, he can't read very well. So he has somebody else read Dee Dee's notes for him. No, just kidding. Guess what happens? They get closer to each other because and create a relationship because they read each other's words. You can read God's word and get closer to him. So God wants you to read the Bible and then he wants you to pray. Prayer is communication with God. He wants you to pray uh, every day with him and talk with him and grow with him. Do you talk with God? You can. You don't have to be in a special room. You don't have to be at church. You right now can pray and talk with God. And then he wants you to follow his commandments. Be obedient. As Austin said, he knows the Ten Commandments. He, he, Austin uh, tries not to lie and Austin tries not to steal and he tries to do the right things because he wants to please his God because he loves his God. It's so important that in our life that we take and we grow in the Lord that way. The next thing we see here is that um, he says he wants us to go and teach others. Did you know God wants you to tell others about him? Cool. Yeah. He not only wants you to tell others about him, but he wants you to get them to church and get them baptized and teach them the other things. He wants you to be a witness to others. So, did you learn anything today, Austin? What's yeah. the most important thing? I'm supposed to get saved. Yes, and then you're supposed to? Get baptized. And then you're supposed to? Um, grow in the Lord. Grow in the Lord, and then you're supposed to? Um, win other people. Win Tell other, other people, people about what Jesus did All for right. me. Alright, so everybody let's give Austin a big hand. He's got it figured out. And you can go, and I'm going to tell you about winning others to Christ. Did you know that God wants you to be a witness to others? God wants you to share the gospel with others. Remember the day when you trusted in Jesus Christ and you accepted him as your personal savior? Did you know that that changed your destination when you died from going to hell? to going to heaven. Got a question for you. Do, does your best friend know about Jesus and have they trusted in Jesus Christ? Has your neighbor trusted in Jesus Christ? Do they know about heaven? Have the people down your street, have the people in other places, have they trusted in Jesus Christ? You see, God has called us to be a witness. We see here in this scripture, it says, go ye therefore. You know what God wants you to do? God wants you to go and tell everybody about Jesus Christ. God wants you to share it with your mom and with your dad. God wants you to share it with your grandma, with your grandpa. Wants you to share it with your best friend. God wants you to share it with the person you don't like down the street. God wants you to share it with everyone and share the good news. You say, Pastor Scott, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I can do that. I'm a little afraid or I don't have the information. Well, if you contact us through the information portals that we've given you, we'll send you uh, information. We'll send you a Bible tract that'll show you the verses of how to tell somebody how to go to heaven, just as we shared with you this week on how to go to heaven. But in our Christian life, yes, we, we need to be saved, we need to be baptized, we need to grow in the Lord, and then we need to start telling others so that they can be saved and baptized 
and growing in the Lord. You say, Pastor Scott, I'm too young. I don't know if I can do this. Well, I can tell you, Austin, when you just saw him here uh, a minute ago, I can remember when he was in a, either the third or fourth grade. And he was knocking on doors and he ran into a house of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kisser. They, they were an older couple they, and they were retired and uh, had gone to church, but they weren't sure about their home in heaven. And Austin, as a third or fourth grader took, and he knocked on their door and he invited them to church and he gave them the gospel. Do you know what? They came to church and they got saved. Mrs. Kisser still comes to church almost every single week. And you know what? Brother Kisser, he passed away and he's in heaven now. All because Austin, as about a 10-year-old, knocked on their door and said, if you die today, do you know for sure you go to heaven? You today are not too young to be a witness. You can share the gospel with everyone. You can share the good news. And you can then go on to begin to train and help other people grow in Christ. Austin now is training to be a preacher because he believes that's what God wants him to do with the rest of his life. What does God want you to do with your life? We know he wants you to be saved. We know he wants you to be baptized. We know he wants you to grow in the Lord. And he know, we know that he wants you to go and tell others. Today, let's commit our life to the Lord. Let's decide that we're going to help others have their lives changed by giving them the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, this couldn't get any worse. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon. <gasps> ah! Whoa. What? We have come to save you. you. Speak English? Yes, the missionaries taught us how. Oh, oh okay. Why are you guys here? Uh, there, there's this crazy professor. He tied us up and he's going to look for some crown. Ah, oh, the crown. It's not really what you think it is. The crown belonged to our first Christian leader. Legends and stories have made it a lot more than it actually is. So it doesn't give you eternal life? No. The only way you can get eternal life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, but wait, wait, wait. He took our friend, a chamomile, and she's in danger. We gotta get to her, we gotta save her. Do you know how to get there? Yes, I know a shortcut. This way. Awesome. This is the place. Now hurry up. We need to get the crown. Guys, this is the place where the crown is. Hurry, Sweet. we're probably already up there. Come on, let's go get her. Camille, get back. Jiminy Cricket, will I ever get rid of you? Probably not. Come on, Doc, let's do this the old fashioned way. Doug? Doc? Wait! Come on down. You can't stop me now. I have the crown of life. I'm immortal! Doc, that's not how that crown works. Be very careful. This thing could collapse right now. Just come on down. Very carefully. I have a dirt of light. Oh no. What's, what's happening? Ugh. Did you find him? No, I, th I think he got washed away by the river. But on the side, I, I found the crown. I, I think this belongs to you. But if you lost Doug, then we lost the phone too. We'll never get back. Wait, you mean this phone? <gasps> See, uh, while we were tussling, I kind of grabbed it out of his pocket. I figure I can call for help and we can finally get out of here. After 12 years! I'm free! Oh, 
free. Hey, don't leave me! Cut! Whoa, guys! Did you see that? Chips and snacks, pretzels everywhere! Best flight ever! It's been about 12 years since I had them and they're not as good anymore. 12 years. I've been here. I've been here for 12 years. 12 so, years. Right, 12 years. Um, we probably have some chips, maybe a few pretzels left. Awesome. Where are they wait, at? Wait, cut! <laughs> no, wait, there's. Get back! Uh. Get back! Can you turn it down and right after she screams, turn it back up? No, obviously. I like the scream. Okay. Scream like, okay, would you just do it or not? I hit him really hard. Action. Cut. That's fantastic. Wonderful news. Awesome. Yes. Did he say anything? <laughs> I was, I was waiting for. Nice to meet you, Douglas Schuper. Uh... <laughs> Rolling. Action. I would dispose of it. <laughs> I didn't want there to be any bodies, but is that too dark? <laughs> Shush! What? what? Hey, I'm done with you now. All the booby traps okay. are gone. So, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> gotta go. I don't have all day. <laughs> Come on. You know you're never gonna get away with this. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, who's go. laughing? Uh, <laughs> I'm very confused. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, you didn't cut the rope. I didn't cut the rope. Action. Oh. Oh. Uh, well. This couldn't get any worse. <laughs> well, this couldn't get any worse. Action! <laughs> Lance, don't pull so tight. Okay, well, let's try that again. The uh, spike pits. <laughs> Action! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Would you have a fly flag? Chimney Cricket, will I ever get rid of you? Probably not. Come on, let's do this the old-fashioned way, Doc. Okay. <laughs> that was bad. Wow, our friends are gonna be able to make it out of the jungle and they've escaped evil, Dr. Douglas Schuper. Wow, we had a great time this week. I'm glad you guys were able to join us. One last time before we go, we're gonna sing my favorite song, the Cranbox song. So everybody stand up with me one last time and let's sing together out loud.
blessing of the day, guys. I am so glad you were able to be here this week. The sad thing is, that is the last time we will be singing that song together this week. But that's okay. I would love to see you at First Baptist Church of Bridgeport. If you live in our area, make sure you come check out our church. And if you don't, check us out online at 2FBC.com. Watch our live stream service every single week. And we had a great time this week. I'm glad you were able to make it. And one of you are still going to win a Nintendo Switch. Who's it going to be? Oh boy, I know so many of you. It could be you or you or you. I don't know. But you know what? Thank you guys for being here. I loved having you. We had a great time and we will see you next time.